What is going on, people? It's John, and I am live from New York City. If you're watching this right now, give me a thumbs up for joining, and tell me uh, where you are tuning in from. I'm definitely curious. You might be watching the archived version of this, so if you see me talking to myself, I'm actually talking to people who were uh, here for the live chat. And today we're gonna try things a little bit differently. What we're gonna do is I'm actually going to be having a topic, and I'm gonna be talking about tips for your first time visiting New York City, a lot of stuff that I wish I knew before I moved here. And then after that, we can move to just a general chat or Q&A. And I've also got a uh, giveaway, nothing too big, but uh, I wanted to ask uh, some people in the audience for uh, a little help. What's up, Evan Doyle? I don't know you, but you must be a cool person. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be starting up in a second. I just want to see uh, how many people I can get to uh, show up to this. I know I'm starting this chat 448 Eastern Time, so I'm thinking more people are going to be viewing the archive. I've gotten like up to 20 people before when I was in Mexico, but I did that at night. Um, so I'm expecting more people to watch the archive of this New York City tips chat, but you know, I threw it live just for fun because I, I could have made this into a regular video anyway. We don't have a very huge audience, so... I'm going to begin right now. So here are seven tips that I wish I knew uh, before I moved to New York, and I think these could help out anybody, maybe even if you live in New York. I know a few of uh, my native New Yorker friends might be watching this right now. So tip number one, there are tons of free museums in New York City tons and tons of them and a lot of people don't know about this so I'm actually uh, in the description going to be leaving a link to different free museums that I've seen before there's a cool article written about this the other point that I want to make is that a lot of famous museums like the Met Cloisters Natural History Museum a lot of these have suggested donations now uh, I'm not telling you to be a jerk and leave 10 cents as your donation, but if you don't have a lot of money, you could give two, three dollars and go to a world-class museum, fairly cheap, and a lot of these museums also have special days of the week where you can just you know pay a limited amount or it's free. I know the Cloisters has this uh, on some weekends. All right, tip number two, and if anyone has just joined, I am curious where you're watching from. I may not stop, but I'm curious where you are watching from. When you arrive to an airport in New York, JFK, Newark, you might see this in LaGuardia, if a random person offers you a ride, I probably wouldn't take it. There's signs for this everywhere in New York City. Uh, you know, if, if you're just walking out of the terminal and somebody says, uh, I have a taxi, I have a car for you, where are you going? Your best bet is just to go to a uniformed taxi stand or to take an Uber or a Lyft, or if you're at JFK, take the subway. If you're at Newark, you can take the train to New York. I've heard a lot of horror stories from people who've been ripped off uh, doing this sort of thing. So again, if you arrive to an airport in New York City, don't just go with a random stranger. I know it sounds like common sense, but you know some tourists might think that it's okay. All right, tip number three. A lot of people come to New York and they buy unlimited subway cards. I do not think it's a good idea, especially if it's your first time coming to New York. An unlimited subway card is good for somebody that lives here and knows how often they're going to be doing that. Hi, Olga Barroso. Um, if you get an unlimited subway card, you're, try you're probably going to try to force yourself to take the train too much. I think a lot of people come to New York and they don't realize, A, how compact everything is that uh, a lot of stuff here is walkable, especially in Manhattan. Manhattan is not very big. You could walk to so many spots and you're probably gonna wanna walk, especially if you don't come here in the winter. If you buy an unlimited subway card, you're probably not gonna get the most value out of it. So I think that uh, also compared to other cities, Ubers are cheaper. Taxis are not that expensive for American standards. I know it's not like Mexico City where Ubers were super, super cheap, um, but I think taxis here compared to some other places I've been are actually not that bad. What is up, Brent in Chicago? All right, tip number four. This one's great. Anyone here who's never been to New York, or maybe they've been here once or twice, if you want to hail a cab, you're gonna think you can just walk to the street and be like, hey cabbie, that's not gonna work. The cab must have the yellow light on 
above its decal. I've seen so many tourists do this. It always makes me laugh. They're looking at each other. They're like, well, why can't I get a cab? Is it what I'm wearing? Is it what I smell? Like, I, you know, if, if a cab is driving in New York and does not have its yellow light on, it will not stop for you no matter what. So always look for that little yellow light on the taxis in New York. It's one of those little tricks that uh, people that come here a lot or locals tend to uh, realize all right, tip number five of my seven tips for your first time to New York. Spend at least one day outside of Manhattan. I know that you know, most people think of New York City, they think of Manhattan, the big buildings, and, and there is a lot going on here. I live in Greenwich Village, I agree, but there's just so much more to do and it's a lot cheaper uh, when you leave Manhattan. And uh, you know, for example, one of my favorite neighborhoods and videos that I've made was about Jackson Heights, Queens. And uh, this area is just full of amazing places if you like to eat, if you're a foodie. You know, I did this video with a, a food blogger and we went to an Indian restaurant, a Tibetan restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, and a Colombian restaurant. All were amazing, all were cheap, and all within like three blocks. And you're not gonna find really cheap, good food in Manhattan unless you specifically know where to look. You're gonna find good food, but it's gonna be very expensive. So try to spend at least one day outside of Manhattan if you can, either hit up Brooklyn, Williamsburg, uh, Bushwick School. I have tons of videos if you guys wanna check out any of my, my New York City playlists. I have so many videos outside of Manhattan. I try to leave Manhattan when I can for the audience just because there's so many cool things going on. We have 16 people watching right now. Anyone who's just joined, definitely say hello. I'm curious uh, where you're watching from. We've seen Boston, Chicago, need more Brooklyn, says Alan Barr. All right, actually tip number six is from my twin brother who is watching right now, and it's a good tip. Always have a little bit of cash on you when you're walking around New York, and it's not because you're afraid you're gonna get robbed and you need to give the, you know, the robber something, no. It's because a lot of the small bodegas and like little convenience stores don't accept credit cards uh, under $10. I actually run into this problem a lot myself. I use credit cards all the time, but if you're running in to buy like a bottle of water and a sandwich or something quick and it's under 10 bucks, they are not at all going to care. Uh, so definitely always have a little cash on you. I've got a few people chatting, Norway, UK, what's going on guys? All right, and the final tip I have, and this is also for my brother, a great tip, and I bet you even a lot of New Yorkers don't know this one. In Manhattan, on any one-way street, even numbered streets run east, odd numbered streets run west. So let's, let's give an example of this. If you're on a one-way street, let's say you're on 12th Street, 12th Street's an even number, it runs east. So if you're lost and you're not sure what direction to go to to get to like, I don't know, 5th Ave, 6th Ave, if you turn and head in the direction of the cars, it is heading east, meaning the numbers are going to be going lower. And vice versa, if you're on 13th Street, all the cars are heading west towards the Hudson River. So you'd be heading towards the higher number streets, the higher number avenues. So if you're on 13th Street and you head towards the cars in the direction they're going on a one way, you're gonna be going to 7th Ave, 8th Ave, 9th Ave. And you know, this is helpful if you come to New York and you don't have a GPS on your phone. Although a good tip though, uh, if you have Google Maps and you get to, this is any country except for like Cuba. Cuba's a whole different story. But if you get to New York, you open up Google Maps in your hotel and you save it, you just like load it once, even when you leave your hotel and you turn the uh, the data off, you have no Wi-Fi, Google Maps will still work, so definitely use that. This, that's even just like a, a non-New York tip. And now I wanted to uh, get to something else really quick and then I'll open it up just to uh, you guys watching. Okay, so what's up from Chicago? What's up Chicago? So a lot of YouTube channels, tons of travel vlogs have names. They have names for their audiences. And I'm, I'm not gonna give any really good examples. Actually, okay, I'll give one. There's a cool travel vlog called The Way Away. If they're watching right now, randomly, probably not. Uh, they call their viewers Wayfam. And there's some other ones out there, but they give their audience a name. And I kind of think of it like Forrest Gump, where uh, he said it's bad luck not to name your ship. I wanna give the audience of this channel a name. And uh, I'm opening it up in the live chat, and I'm also gonna let anyone watching the archives uh, tell me so it's a little contest and if I like one of the entries you're gonna win a postcard from New York City anywhere in the world so what would be a good name 
for the audience of Here Be Bar. If anyone come up with something, I'm curious. Here Be Bar, obviously you're watching, it's my channel. What would be a good name for this audience? And you know, if you think about it later, leave a comment in this video, tell me on the chat. If somebody leaves me a really cool entry, I will send you a postcard from New York City. I, I know so many cool ones. I'll send you one to anywhere in the world. There's no restrictions here. I know I have a lot of viewers from the Philippines. Anywhere in the world, think about this. What would you name the audience of this channel? Something with Here Be Bar. It doesn't even have to have Here Be Bar in it. It could be anything, but I'm uh, very open to suggestions. Um, so I kind of got through all of the, uh, the points I wanted to make about New York City. Uh, Anybody out there, any questions about first New York, but then just about anything travel related in general, about this channel, happy just to, to talk right now. I've got a few minutes uh, and I've got a lot of cool stuff coming out in the next week or two. I know we've got nine, 10 people watching right now. Parkationers. <laughs> thank you, Evan Doyle. I, I don't know if I quite like that one, but it, I mean, thank you for the first entry. Barkationers, all right. Or if anyone out there could think of a better name than Barkationers for this channel, if you just tuned in, I'm looking for uh, suggestions. Here be barbs. That is that is not a good one. That's a, that's a good try. That's a great try, but no, nah, I'm not really digging that. Too too much like connection to, uh, to vomiting. I don't, I don't know if I quite dig that. Anybody else has any suggestions? Tell me that. Any questions about New York, Mexico, Cuba? Any any uh, videos that I've done? stuff like that, just uh, anything in general. If you want to tell me um, where you're watching from right now, I kind of feel like I'm running my own radio show right? like I used to do. I was a sportscaster for a long time and kind of used to talking. It feels like to myself sometimes, but I know there's uh, 11 people watching. And if you just tuned in, give me a little thumbs up, click the like button, that would be really cool. Anybody who hasn't, um, announce where they're watching from. I am very curious where you are tuning in from or if you're too shy, that's cool also. Um, going to be in New York until the 15th of June and then I have a big, big trip announced. I got this thing I'm gonna be doing but I'm not gonna announce it uh, on the channel yet. I'm gonna wait maybe another week or two, maybe make a live chat to announce it or, uh, or announce it in a video. Going to Mexico City in late June. What do you think the weather will be like? Do we have any Mexicans watching right now? Maybe they can answer that. Adriana, is Olga watching? We got a few Mexicans, uh, I think, tuning. Hot. It's gonna be hot, apparently. I've never been to Mexico in June. Mm -mm. I've only, I've usually went in the spring or the winter. Um, my brother was just in Mexico City, actually. Barbarians. Mm, no, at, if this was like an, an MMA channel, maybe uh, that would work, but few new people watching, if you want to tell me where you're watching from, that would be great. I, I did just start a contest. I want uh, the audience's help to come up with a name for the audience of this YouTube channel. I know a lot of YouTube channels have audience names, and if somebody can come up with a good one, I will send you a postcard from New York City to anywhere in the world. And you know, if I could have come up with a, bet with a name, I would have already. What is going on Sweden? I've been to Sweden one time. Sweden's nice. I've been all over Scandinavia but years and years ago. Went to Sweden, Norway, Denmark. Watching from Egypt. All right. Olga Barroso. Late June should be warm but rainy in Mexico City. Yes, Mexico, Mexico has a bit of a rainy season. I believe places like Puebla, Mexico City. I, believe, I think even like Cancun, Yucatan. It's not very popular uh, in the summer. So uh, again, opening up the floor right now to Barquitos. <laughs> I, I think if, if this channel was, was more like um, Spanish, like Latino based, if I was living in Mexico for a long time, that could work. Or maybe for like the, maybe we, maybe we could have a name for the, uh, the Spanish speaking viewers and then for the English speaking viewers. Twice in, uh, ah, Evan Doyle with a good tip. I like that. Use a save feature on Google Maps. That's good. I mean, when I'm traveling somewhere and uh, and I don't have internet, I like to take pictures on my phone. Like if you have an iPhone, you just click the um, the little button and, and the button on the side, it, it saves a photo. I do this in general anywhere I go. If, if I wanna like remember the address of somewhere, just email yourself or uh, send yourself like a, a picture of a map, even better for New York. But New York isn't that difficult to, um, to figure out your way around. The streets are gridded, at least until you get to like the village. So 
I find a lot of tourists who come to New York, they complain about the subway system, but they don't complain about the streets because if they stay in Midtown, everything is, is just on a grid. Anyone who's just tuned in, give me a, a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. We've been going for almost 15 minutes. Wow. Uh, I did do a chat before my seven tips for uh, visitors to New York City. So when I'm done with this chat, it's going to be archived. So if you just tuned in, you could check that out later. I think I gave some really good advice about New York City. And I am going to be here, uh, what is it, 23rd for another three weeks. So I've got a lot of cool videos coming out. I will give you guys one tease. This is what I'm going to be doing soon. I'm reaching out to some people. Uh, I did a video about uh, Instagram in Mexico City where I met this really cool Instagrammer and we went to some cool sites and we took pictures and he showed me like his ideas of, of how you take pictures at certain places. So I'm recruiting right now an Instagrammer or two from New York City and I'm, I'm talking to a couple and we're gonna be visiting some places uh, in either Brooklyn or Manhattan that maybe you've never thought of before that are really good for taking cool photos for Instagram. So I think that video is gonna be happening uh, in the next week or two, I just have to work it out with them. And I've got a lot of other uh, things in New York I'm going to be doing. I just did a video, if you missed it, about the um, Dark Lord, what's up? About uh, a cool small museum which was hidden in this like, alley in, uh, in Chinatown. I, li I like doing stuff like that. I like finding obscure and, uh, and weird stuff to cover. It's kind of like what I do with this channel. I like obviously saving money, cultural exchange, learning languages a little bit with Spanish. Anybody new is just um, tuned in. I would love to know where you are watching from. I've actually checked the analytics of this channel. It turns out it's like 50 to 60% United States, Canada. But then we've got a nice contingent from Mexico, Philippines, and a bunch of other countries in Europe. I think Germany, Australia, some other spots. Anybody is just tuned in, give me a, a like. If you're watching from Denmark. Elmi Mohammed. So what time is it in Denmark right now? It must be like 10 p.m.? Copenhagen. I've been to Copenhagen. Copenhagen has a lot of bikes. One thing I'll never forget about Copenhagen, everybody bikes everywhere. I did that on my big uh, Scandinavian trips. 2300, so that's like uh, 11 o'clock for an American, they would say that. We've got 10 viewers now. We had as much as I think, we had 17 as our maximum. It's just kind of a weird time, 5 p.m. Like I think this is the sort of time people would pop in for a minute or two and kind of leave. Um, anyone who's just joined, I'm gonna say this one more time, I am having a contest. If you can think of a cool name for the audience of this channel, leave me a comment or tell me now, think about it. And if someone comes up with a name that I like that I could use for the audience of Here Be Bar uh, to call, so I would say, for example, hey, barbarians, that was my brother's stupid idea. Um, I would send you a postcard from New York City to anywhere in the world. I don't care where it is. Fiji, Tahiti. Oh, it's a really cool postcard. The store here, they got some great stuff. Been going for almost 20 minutes. Wow. Where has the, um, the time gone? Uh, if anyone has any um, video ideas, I'm always curious about that. Anything you want to see covered in New York while I'm here, or any questions about New York, any, any anything in the actually anything, any video idea, period. Um, I would love to hear. It's 11 p.m. in Egypt. You watched my $10 video. A lot of people watch that video, Elmi, actually. A lot of people. That, that video is like 600,000 views. And the most popular comment I ever got about this video, for anyone who has no idea what we're talking about, I made this video last October um, with this vlogging group. Hey, dude, what's going on? From Chicago. Um, and we had to do a $10 challenge on our city. So people had challenges. I think one girl did something somewhere in India and hers was incredible for $10. What she could get done, she did like 50 things for 10 bucks. So I had to do it in, in Manhattan and it was really tough. And you know, the video was doing okay for a while. And then out of nowhere, a few months ago, YouTube just said, check it out to everybody. So it's been going nuts. Evan Doyle with a tip. Midtown Manhattan, very crowded. Yes, great tip. Evan Doyle with a tip about Midtown Manhattan. Super crowded during the day. All the tourists go there. In fact, I'm going to add a tip to what Evan said. Evan said, stay away from Midtown until after the daytime. Yes, Times Square is cool at night. I'm going to make an addition to that. Try to avoid having your hotel be in Times Square. It is so crowded. And so many people think that New York is... Oh, Tony, what's up? So many people think that New York is only Midtown. Stay away from Times Square forever. Wow. Haha, <laughs> Manny, what's going on? 
another New York vlogger. He's got a cool channel as well. And actually, he's uh, working from Midtown. So I, I guess you could agree that Midtown Manhattan is a uh, pretty bad place to spend most of your time. Yes. A lot of people, I'm originally from New Jersey. A lot of people from Jersey just come to Midtown and they think that's what New York City is. And they don't go to some of the other neighborhoods. They don't go downtown. They don't go uptown. Yes, Midtown is far, far too crowded. We are approaching 20 minutes. We are from Newark. Newark, home of Newark Airport. I grew up in Fairlawn, by the way, Manny. I don't know if you knew that, which is uh, 20 minutes north of uh, of Newark. Got 11 people watching right now. If anyone new has tuned in, what is going on? I just did a live chat about uh, my seven tips for the first time visiting New York City. My friend Evan chimed in with a lot of good tips as well. I know a lot of people are watching this channel because of that $10 video I made, which blew up on YouTube, 650,000 views, I think. It's crazy. Uh, you want me to talk to a guy who speaks 30 languages? Wow. You know what's interesting about those people that speak 30 languages, though? Like, me and my brother were watching a video yesterday. A lot of them don't speak all of them that well. They'll speak just enough to, like, impress you uh, on YouTube. A couple phrases, and then, you know, if you had, like, a deep conversation they couldn't get by. I'd be really impressed if somebody could speak 30 languages perfectly fluently. That would amazing you can make a video with him there's a, there's actually a, a lot of people in New York I want to make videos with it's not a hard place to find people uh, to collab with Battery Park City is nice and peaceful for many that's true uh, I actually did a video um, about some like weird things in New York in the financial district that was one of my videos which was really cool because I found this wall from Atlas Obscura and it was from 1976. There was this wall that had graffiti from uh, July 4th, 1976, which was the 200 a year anniversary of uh, the United States. And the wall was left untouched. And you can actually visit it. And it's, it's so cool. And it's totally a free thing to do. Uh, I, if anyone's curious, check that video out. My New York City playlist is called something like uh, Wall Street and other weird places to visit New York. If you want to see this this wall from 1976, which has like crazy graffiti, like all these slang terms that you probably have never heard of, especially if you're really young, which I think maybe some of you are. 14 people watching. Anybody new, give me a, a thumbs up, a like. That would uh, be really cool. How do you avoid getting mugged in New York? Tony, man, you're a funny guy. You know, I don't, I don't really think that crime is such a big uh, problem. I know you're being sarcastic because you're funny, but um, crime isn't such a big problem in, in Manhattan anymore. I think maybe 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, they really cleaned up New York City in the early 90s. Um, and, uh, you know, I would just use common sense in New York. I think compared to a place like Mexico City, where if I was walking at night, I would... Um, talk about how I traveled to country. Uh, if I was walking at night in Mexico City, I'd be very vigilant. I'd really be looking around to make sure there's, like, nobody tailing me, there's no dark little corners. But I've walked around Manhattan 3, 4 in the morning. I've honestly never seen anything that weird in, like, Manhattan under maybe, like, 100th Street. Um... So I, I think that New York is really safe to travel to. Most people don't complain about that when they come to New York. I think what people complain about a lot is the prices of things, how expensive it is and how crowded it is. But crime isn't a huge problem if you stay in like a decent area of Manhattan or Brooklyn or Queens. Uh, I, I don't think you're going to run into, into too much trouble here. 15 people watching. If you're new to the chat, give me a thumbs up and tell me uh, where you're watching from. I've got a couple more minutes left before I have to go. I, I enjoy making these live chats. Find me good Mexican food in Greenwich Village. You find me good Mexican food in Greenwich Village. There's actually a, a Mexican place in, um, in Midtown I want to go to. It's like uh, our friend Rob went there. You are from Norway. Awesome. If you want good Mexican food, I think you have to go to Queens. You have to go to like Corona Park. Tim Donor is the best polyglot in the world. I don't really cover, honestly, uh, Ebna, I don't cover language stuff that much. I did when I was in Mexico. I did uh, a lot of videos about Spanish. If you're using subways or groups, put up these multiple doors on the same car. Uh, 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 uh. It's interesting. Well, Evan, why would you say that's a tip? Olga Barroso knows who can cook good food in Greenwich Village. That's good to know. Evan, if you're still watching, tell me why Tell me why it's a good tip. Yes, Adriana, Adriana can cook very good Mexican food, although we haven't had her do it in a while. 
And I am going to get back to Mexico at some point, but I just don't know when specifically. I do admit that uh, I had a great audience in Mexico. Cafe 37 in Midtown. All right, Manny, we're going to remember that. Yes, I, I gained a lot of followers from Mexico, and it was kind of sad that I had to uh, cut those videos short. If anyone didn't see this from my channel, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. I'm fine now. I might update you guys on that at some point. Um, but I had to leave Mexico about 10 days early, which was really sad because I had so many cool videos I was going to make. I literally had like three videos lined up for like the week that I would I left Mexico. I had I was going to go to this really cool cocktail place too, but I'm going to I'm going to save this stuff for the next time I go to Mexico City. Right now I'm trying to build back up my my New York City things, and then this summer I've got a secret location. If you guys are watching and know where it is, don't say. I've got a location I'll be going to, and I'm going to make a lot of videos from here, and it's going to be really cool. And I think it's going to be of a lot of interest to Americans. It's somewhere that a lot of Americans and probably Canadians would like to visit especially, but any anybody would want to go couple more minutes 25 minutes I actually did not anticipate going this long it's fun though off to Cuba on Saturday hey what's going on yes Nadia I remember you you watch my videos many times to refresh your memory if you have any last-minute questions you can send me a private message or uh, tell me here I actually love those Cuba videos I think the Cuba series is probably one of my favorite ones ever to make because as like a travel vlogger, you, you go and you try to find things that look like interesting to you. And I live in New York, so when I, I walk around here, I'm not necessarily shocked by things. Did I change my money to Canadian at JFK? I did not change my money to Canadian at the airport. I would not recommend you do that. Uh, I went to an exchange house in Manhattan. I, I looked it up on Yelp. Uh, I don't know where you live, but one thing I'd recommend is that if you're trying to exchange money anywhere in the world, Cuba's an exception. Normally, I just take it up from an ATM machine. I would not do a money exchange at any airport. But Cuba, I do recommend you do. I prefer actually euros over, Cana over Canadian dollars to go to Cuba. Uh, I contacted a few different exchange houses in New York, and I said, I'm going to Cuba. Actually, I didn't even say I was going to Cuba. I just said, I want to change US dollars to Canadian dollars. What's the best rate? you can give me. All right, Nadia, if you're in New York City, I recommend you go on Yelp.com and you could privately message uh, the exchange houses. I messaged like three or four and I, I said, what's your rate? And I got three rates. I started messaging them. I said, well, this guy gave me this rate and I upped it by two decimal points and a few of them uh, actually matched it. So I got a really good rate in Canadian dollars. But if you want to exchange money going to Cuba, I would recommend US dollars to euros because it's going to be a one to one exchange where Canadian dollars it was like 0.2 so it's kind of strange I would much rather have it where I give one euro and get one uh, kook back which is the uh, excuse me, the tourist currency in Cuba for anyone who's just tuned in give me a thumbs up we have 16 we had as much as 19 my record for a live chat was 29 because I had Adriana next to me when I have her next to me I guess people want to stay I guess I'm I guess I'm too boring. Couple more minutes till we go. Anybody else just tune in, want to say hello? If you're new, I'm gonna announce the contest that I just uh, said to the audience. I'm looking for a name for the audience of Here Be Bar. Like, like example, there's a channel called Way Away. They call their audience Way Fam. If you could think of a cool name for the audience of Here Be Bar, which kind of relates to my name or it doesn't have to, I will send you a really cool postcard from New York City to anywhere in the world. But, you know, take your time. Think about it. If, if somebody can um, come up with something, I would like that. Hello. Hello, Sophia from Canada. Your Cuba series my favorite to watch. Yes, it was it was fun to make. And actually, um, I've had a, probably more people contacted me privately about Cuba than any other place I've ever covered. I had a lot of people interested in Mexico City, but I think with um, – it's <laughs> got a lot of names – Lace train. Da, 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 da. Evan is giving some reasons here about uh, why uh, you should not all go into one subway car. That is a good point, what he just said. But what I meant was uh, I had a lot of people contact me about Cuba because after uh, old president, well, the former President Obama lifted restrictions, barbarians, <laughs> another one who said that. Um, after Obama lifted the travel restrictions, a lot of Americans are going to Cuba now. So I kind of jumped on a cool trend 
and now a lot of other tribal vloggers have gone there. I, I think I've seen at least four or five other Barbies. You guys have the worst names ever. We've had Barbarians, Barophiles, Twin Video, please. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do a Twin Video at some point, Steve Weber. <laughs> We're almost at 30 minutes. Um, it's crazy because you, you get these chats coming in and you lose your train of thought. Like you. It's kind of it's actually tough to do these live chats. It's much easier to do a regular video where you're looking at a camera because you have your audience like interrupting you, which is cool. I like you guys chatting, but then I, I lose my train of thought a bit. Looking forward to another video piece. Yes, Pat, go enjoy Cuba <laughs> barbecue. I don't know how I can come, if that's a name for a channel though. Like I'm named for an audience. Hi barbecues. Hi bar. Hi barbecue enthusiasts. If I actually did like barbecue food reviews, that would be cool. That would actually work really well. I love barbecue food, but I'm not, I'm not the best like food vlogger. Barritos. I, I can't roll the R. If I could roll my R's, I could do that. Barritos. Maybe have a few uh, Spanish speakers. Barritos. All right. See, that, anyone, any Americans out there want to learn Spanish, man? That's tough. Pugs. No. No, no. Bar hoppers. You, go, all right, guys, leave, leave me a few comments. Let me know what you thought about this. I actually have to go. I gave myself 30 minutes maximum, and I was so happy. Bar leaves. All right. I, I can't send you a postcard anyway, so you're not eligible, Audrey Marvon. All right, guys, I'm going to take off. I did announce that contest. I'm going to put in the description what I'm looking for. I'm also going to put in the description my New York City playlist and uh, a video about... Uh, no, excuse me, an article about free museums in New York and some other museum tips. Barritos. All these names are funny, but they're just not what I want, I don't think. Maybe I'll change my mind. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Buenas noches in whatever language you speak nat natively. Have a good night. And there's a lot of cool stuff coming out very soon from New York City and another spot soon as well. Bar Pack. Uh, maybe that'll work. All right, guys, have a good night.